Upper East Region, where the Kenti Weavers Association has called on the Ministry of Trade and Industry and the One District One Factory Secretariat to establish a garment factory in the region to save their businesses from collapse. Our correspondent, Tanku Mohamed Rabiu, visited some weavers in the Bogotanga municipality to explore the potential of the Northern Kenti to the local economy. Traditional wares in the northern parts of Ghana, such as fugu, straw basket products, are becoming more popular. With the beginning of northern smog business, hundreds of junior and senior high school graduates who were seeking greener pastures in the south have been enrolled to learn the trade. Many have graduated while others are currently under apprenticeship across the region. The weavers called for the revamping of the Pusuna Mongo Cotton Factory, which produces cotton for weavers at cheaper prices. The weaving is going well. The market is better to say. But we have our challenges in the trade because we don't have the real cotton that we are looking for. Most of them are those they imported from China and they are silk. So that's our challenge. And because they are imported, the, the cost is too high. So when we finish the cloth, you can see that the price is high. So at times we have challenges in the market. Due to the high cost of the imported trades, a complete cloth can go for between 70 CDs and 100 CDs per two yards, depending on the color and pattern. The modernization of looms into electrical and mechanical machines is expected to increase production to more than 1,000 yards a month. And that was really beautiful, wasn't it? I think so. Mm. I think so. I mean, I really love natural culture and traditional activities. Absolutely. And there'll be a lot of that in the month of March. There's a hashtag that you can follow to catch all the action this March. We're wearing Ghana, eating Ghana, listening Ghana, and of course watching Ghana as well. It's hashtag we celebrate GH.